All right, just in time for Halloween. We're gonna head up to the Hollywood Tower Hotel. And take our luck in the Twilight Zone. <laughs> Steve Gutenberg would be proud. All of these souls lining up to take their turn on the Hollywood Tower Hotels. Tower of Terror. Sorry. There it is. The Twilight Zone. Tower of Terror. Hollywood Tower Hotel. Oh Halloween <laughs> nights. <laughs> the Twilight Zone came to life. and the glitter of a bustling young movie town at the height of its golden age. The Hollywood Tower Hotel was a star in its own right, a beacon for the show business of Lee. Now, something is about to happen that will change all that. Like the one we have just witnessed. Tonight's story of the Twilight Zone is somewhat unique and calls for a different kind of introduction. This, as you may recognize, is a maintenance service elevator, still in operation, waiting for you. We invite you, if you dare, to step aboard because in tonight's episode, you are the star, and this elevator travels directly to the Twilight Zone.
Picture, if you will, people riding in the Hollywood Tower Hotel, specifically Mr. Nooks and Crannies. There I am. Now let's see what other goodies here. Dusty cobwebs. Stories from along the the winding road here of the Hollywood Tower Hotel. And theming extends all the way through to the gift shop. You know, everybody exits through the gift shop. Of course. Here, Joffrey's just outside of the exit of the Tower of Terror. Going to get a seasonal beverage there. I'm getting the pumpkin game change cold brew. All right, sit outside the Hollywood Tower Hotel. I got my Joffrey's pumpkin game changer. What'd you get, Miss Amy? Mocha. Nice mocha. Nice mocha. All right, let's get my taste on. As advertised, tastes like pumpkin. Uh, definitely not as good as the uh, Starbucks uh, apple crisp oat milk drink that we got the other day at Disney Springs. But it's darn tasty. I'll show you It's good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 